Hello and welcome to Meadow Brown Bakery. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make soft cinnamon sugar pretzel sticks. Start by buttering and flouring your baking tray and put it to one side. Get a large bowl, put water in it and sprinkle in your yeast and stir. Add in your sugar and salt and stir some more until it's dissolved. Add all your flour in one go and mix with your wooden spoon until you can't mix it anymore. And then you put your wooden spoon to one side and you start kneading it in the bowl with your hands. When it's all gathered up together, put your dough onto a lightly floured surface and start kneading it. Knead it until it's nice and smooth. Get your bowl again and brush it with vegetable oil. Just use a pastry brush and go all over the bowl with the pastry brush and put it in the bowl and let it rise for 40 minutes. While your dough is rising, make a bicarbonate of soda water bath. For this you just need to add one cup of water and one teaspoon of bicarbonate soda and put it to one side. When your dough has finished rising, get a scale and weigh it, divide it by the number of sticks that you want to make. Roll out your stick shapes, dip your pretzel in it and put it on your baking tray. Carry on until you got the num right number of pretzel sticks that you need. You might need two trays, but that's okay, just carry on, or if you have one tray, just bake one tray at a time. While they're on the baking tray, cover them and let them rise for 40 minutes. Just before they finish rising, maybe 5 to 10 minutes before they finish rising, preheat your oven to 230 degrees Celsius. And then when they finish rising, put them in the oven and bake them for about 10 minutes or until nice and golden brown on top. When you finish baking the sticks, take them out of the oven and let them cool for about 5 to 10 minutes and then brush them with some melted butter and put them in cinnamon sugar. You can put them on a cooling rack or serve immediately. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. For more videos like this, please visit my website www.middlebrownbakery.com. For recipe amounts, please click in the description below.